Hey guys, this video is just going to be explaining to you the differences between a PWM charge controller and a regular charge controller like the Harbor Freight charge controller. Um, the main differences is how the it actually charges your batteries. The Harbor Freight charge controller and like a lot of other charge controllers like the 7 amp Coleman I was using, uh, that it just regulates the voltage. So pretty much when it gets down to a certain voltage I believe the Harbor Freight's 13.2. It'll uh, turn the panels back on and charge it up to 14.5, I believe. The PWM charge controller, it pulses the batteries as it charges. So, this one, it pulses the batteries between 14.5 and 14.7 to 14.9 volts, depending on how bad your battery is. Um, then it drops into float mode at... 13.6 volts and it pulses at 13.6 volts as well um, the advantages of having a PWM charge controller is it they say it helps uh, decrease and reduce uh, sulfation of your battery bank um, unlike the regular charge controller like from Harbor Freight or a Coleman 7 amp charge controller like what it was using um, PWM charge controllers are generally a little more expensive than a regular charge controller like the 7 amp. Um, pretty much PWM is just a better way of charging your batteries. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing the good old fashioned you know regular style voltage regulating charge controller I guess would be a better way of um, calling it. Um, like you know the Harbor Freight or the 7 amp. Like um, Right now you can see the PWM charge controller is See how the voltage is fluctuating a lot like that? That's because it's actually pulsing my batteries. So it's normal for your voltage to uh, rapidly e increase and decrease like this because it's pulsing it. So um, pretty much the voltmeter here just can't uh, pick up the voltage um, fluctuations as quick. That's why it appears to be jumping a lot. But um, PWM is pretty much just a better way of charging your uh, batteries. I mean, if you could afford it, um, you know, I highly recommend PWM uh, charge controllers. But this one, um, this one wasn't bad. It was only sixteen dollars, and I bought it off Amazon. Um, it took a while to get here. It took like three or four weeks. I was buying it overseas, but uh, still, it was a good charge controller for sixteen bucks. I mean, you couldn't beat it. But um, yeah, guys, that's just the differences between a PWM charge controller and a voltage regulating charge controller. Got any questions? Leave them in the comment section below. Hope you all like this video. Thank you for watching.